From this year forward, it's a new venue that welcomes the best tennis players from around the world. The Miami Open begins its later chapter in its much storied history. You're never gonna keep me down, you're never gonna keep me down, no, no, no. It's a big change, a uh, big deal for tennis, I think. You know, it's obviously impressive, I mean, playing tennis inside of an American football arena. Well, this is the site of Super Bowls and a lot of great games. And WrestleMania has been here before, so this is a very cool place to uh, play tennis in. Got the bell, like a king, heavyweight champion of the whole damn thing, yo. Full of gas, full of spin, Jekyll and Hyde, you're the evil twin. And now at these, as everybody can see, I think. World class from Dushan Lajevic. What a performance from the Spaniard. And Alexander Zverev is out. It'll be our catch, boom. There'll be no sunshine double for Dominic team. And unfortunately for Ferrer, this is the last time that we will see him in Miami. Oh, you're kidding me! Showtime in Miami. Borna Chorich, he gets a big win over Nick Kyrgios. And another seat is trampled, and this time it's the biggest one of all. Roberto Batista Agu takes down number one. Today starts the first of two days of quarterfinal action. The dream is still alive in Miami for John Isner. How are you doing, man? Nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you. Felix Auger Alisim sends Borna Torch packing in straight sets. has become Canada's teenage dream. John Isner makes it 12 straight sets going back to last year's final where he's returning in 2019. Well, they know each other, but they've never faced each other. Master at work once again. Roger Federer triumphs once more in Miami. He'll buy for a fourth title. Next up, John Isner. This is done, unfortunately, for Isner. Oh, it's such a shame. You've got to feel so sorry for him. For the fourth time, Roger Federer is champion in Miami as he picks up title number 101.